Hello game developers, I would like to share with you the tools I use to develop games. I'm not counting Unity, I mean the other tools around it. Today everything is S tier, everything. There is a mix of free and paid software as well. I'll go over the tools one by one, it's grouped by topic, art, video, code, data, project management and some extra at the end. Let's start with some creative tools. As much as I don't like Adobe, nothing beats Photoshop. Powerful masking features, fixing images with all kinds of healing tools works great, and things like content aware feel are just so powerful. Next, for vector workflows, I use Affinity Designer 2, the best alternative to Adobe uh, Illustrator, but in my opinion, it is superior for a very few simple reasons. First, it is much more intuitive. The snapping, selection, boolean operations are much smoother and make me more productive and as a result more creative. With Illustrator, I'm constantly fighting against the tools. Then, of course, we have Blender. I use a few add-ons, a lot like Grid Modeler, but overall I keep it quite standard. I did develop my own add-on to batch export objects and sync them directly to my Unity project, very useful. For tracking image references and making mood boards, PureRef is my second favorite tool. I'll show you later what's my actual favorite one. Next up, we have tools to work with video and music. For music, sound effects and voiceovers like this one, I use Ableton Live. For video editing, I use DaVinci Resolve. It is the best video editing software on the planet. The free version is epic and the paid version is legendary. Finally, OBS for long screen recordings. Everyone knows OBS. All right, we arrive to my favorite category, coding tools. I use multiple editors, all right? Visual Studio Code for web development, Rider for Unity and NeoVim for various work I do in the terminal. Speaking of terminals, the standard one is boring, so I went with Alacrity, I think it's pronounced like that. It's fast, customizable and trendy. Then in the terminal, I make heavy use of TMAX to have multiple panels, windows and other goodies. One plugin I really love is Resurrect, which allows me to save and reload a complete TMOX session. Then there is Oh My ZSH, along with Power Level 10K to make all one level fancier. All is customized, Alacrity has a config, TMOX has a config, and NeoVim is configured based on Kickstart NeoVim. After that, for version control, I use Git, directly in the terminal, of course. And if I feel lazy to type git commands, I use lazy git. Then sometimes I need custom tools or automations like syncing assets, transforming data, stuff like that. For that, I often write programs using Python, but I'm currently playing around with Go and that might be my go-to language. <laughs> Got it, go, go to, okay. All right, next we have the management of data, which might interest many people as well. Of course, lots of data is on my machine locally. Then I use external hard drives to store assets, archives, and video files. Dropbox for random documents, social media content, and that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll invest in a NAS in the future, put all there and run a local Git server there as well. And last but not least, we have some project management tools. Those are probably the biggest contributors that keep the game dev chaos organized. It's very simple. I use Notion as a knowledge base and for project and task tracking. I also use it to plan YouTube videos. Then I use Miro for brainstorming, chaotic planning, and also mood boards instead of pure ref because there are many more ways to annotate and dump IDs and notes. Now, don't judge, but I also use Word and Excel for various planning and administrative stuff. It is what it is. And as a little extra, I want to share with you Cascadeur, a great and powerful animation tool that I briefly tried and love it. Just since my current project is a car game, I have no use for it for the moment. Then Substance Painter is also one that I love to use, but it contributes to a long 3D creation process, especially for game assets. So I like to use it to make some pretty renders, but for making games, I prefer to use another style of texturing. And there you have it, the tools that make everything happen in here. Now a question to you, is there an S tier tool that you know and I don't use yet? Just let me know in the comments and don't come and mention GIMP as an S tier, no way. Thank you very much for watching, go work on your game, I'll see you next time.